So we've had several calves that we've had to bottle raise. Um, one of our cows, she, every other year, she gets twins. And so generally, whenever a cow has twins, she has the first one, she puts it in a little special place where, you know, it's pr protected from predators. And then she goes off and has the second one. And a lot of time they forget about the first one. And if she won't take it, then we bottle raise it. We're in Franklinton, Louisiana. We're at Southern Maids Dairy Farm, which is Nathan and Aaron Miller. And it's a dairy goat farm. They also have some water buffalo. They milk them, they process the milk, they sell you know, the pasteurized milk products, and they make cheeses and the most wonderful cheesecake and eggnog you will ever have. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Mike. Nathan Miller. Good to see you, Nathan. This is my wife, Erin. Hey, Miss Erin. Good nice to see you. Thank you. We're the owners of Southern Maids Dairy. We're going to feed some of our water buffalo, and uh, one needs a bottle. So okay. here you go. Thank you. Thank you. You got you to adjust the right temperature, that, right? That's right. That's, that's right. right. Very good. Come here, come here, baby. Look. Here you go. Even. Oh, now you yeah, got just it. Like, just like a calf. Yeah, there yeah. you go. I know you know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, yeah, huh. Graduated school for this. So they are extremely, extremely smart. Um, mm -hmm. And once they, once they win over your trust, you pretty much have them at that point, And they'll do just about whatever you want. We're going to start working with her on halter and uh -huh. lead training. Make it a little bit easier to come into the, uh, into the dairy. So not very many people have water buffalo. The neat thing about them is the composition of their milk. It's a super high, high fat quality milk. They don't give a whole lot, but, uh, but it is super nutritious. Getting to play with, with you know, pure uh, water buffalo mozzarella, um, which is one of the things that we want to do. And then we're doing some blends with, uh, with, their, with our goat's milk and, uh, and playing around with that. But their, their milk has a different composition than goat's milk, than cow's milk, than camel's milk, and, and what you can do with it in the creamery is, is really a, a neat process. What? And you? Huh? What? What? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's okay, huh? What? What? Huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can see everything around here is a pet. Huh? Every single one of them in here has a name. They may not all have their collars on, but they all have a name. Mm -hmm. And uh, we started with all purebred breeds, and then we started playing with some crosses. We started with Nubians, which tend to be very similar to a Jersey. Okay. Um, and then introduced the Sonnens and then the Alpines, and they, they tend to have more milk, like mm -hmm. a, like a, a, Holstein. a Holstein. Right. And then we're adding back, but then we do a lot of our crossbreeding, and um, we sell a lot of crossbred animals to homesteaders. Um, they really? want they, a lot of animals. Um, but they as pets or for milk for milk for milk. Okay. Here's one of our crosses right here What? 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 Yeah, we're grade A and uh, so we take it from here and we milk right now We milk straight into buckets, but it goes straight into our process facility from mm -hmm. there We don't mm -hmm. we don't have a big holding tank at the moment, right? Because we're making cheese every day Every day Saturdays and Sundays as well. It won't take a day wow. off. We bring the milk in here We filter and go straight into the uh, pasteurization process and uh, actually, right now we're making eggnog, and uh, getting ready for tomorrow. But this is. Uh, and so you're making eggnog. If that's in the pasteurizer. That's in the pasteurizer. Yeah, you can now. smell it. Yes, sir. And so that's your eggnog. That's eggnog. Get out of your way. Yeah, it's coming. It's good. It's good. <laughs> we start with certified Louisiana milk. It's all done here. Um, then we we like I said we process all of our own products here. So it's. Certified Louisiana Chev, Certified Louisiana Feta, our yogurt, cheesecakes, and then now our eggnog as well. So they sell it not only to a number of restaurants because they are certified Louisiana, but also at farmers markets. And you can also see the passion they have for the products that they make. We want to sell a really good product, let you take it and go, go from there. With the Certified Louisiana program, people want a taste of that culture. Sure. Mm -hmm. They want a taste of uniqueness, you know, they want a taste of the farm. Absolutely. That is delicious. Mm. 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 That was some of the best cheesecake I've ever had, and that eggnog was out of this world. I absolutely love what I do. It, it, it is a job and it is a hobby, um, but, it, but it keeps us grounded for sure. We, we enjoy staying grounded to the land and, and what we're doing here. Certified Louisiana's Crawfish Tales with Commissioner Mike Strain was brought to you by the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry Certified Louisiana Program. For information about the Certified Louisiana, Certified Cajun, Certified Creole, 
Certified Craft Beverage and the Certified Farm to Table Logo Program, visit CertifiedLouisiana.org or LDAF.LA.gov. Support Louisiana families. Look for Certified Louisiana Logos at your favorite grocery, restaurant, or farmer's market. Buy Louisiana. It's the way to grow.